Hi, Stitchy friends. It's me, Tony. And um, this is the first part of a two-part floss tube extra. So you'll say, well, this is not what you're wearing in the second part. No, it's not, because I filmed that first. And then I put that on my little nightgown for the evening, because it's Sunday night, and I wanted to be comfy. As I sit here in my Stitchy chair, so I just had a couple of things I wanted to show you that I'd gotten in. Um, the first is my Fancy Floss from Fat Quarter Club for October, which for whatever reason, they send in November. I don't understand, but it's okay. So, um, it always comes in a nice packaging. And this month, uh, the uh, color of the month is black, which, to my reckoning, there's only black. But apparently, there's not only just black. There's different types of black. In fact, I have what's six black colors right here, called blackboard, gunmetal, charcoal, onyx, Coal and mascara. What color are these if they're not black? Well, let's find out. And this says it's satin black. So this is a club at Fat or Shop. For those of you that aren't aware, I think it's $12.95 a month, but by the time you do shipping and tax, it's like $18.95. So I think this was the last month I was going to do it. I was switching it to another one, just trying to find out, you know, which ones I like and, and which, you know, because they do like a color of the month. Some groups do an array of colors, so you, you kind of, you know, taste the rainbow. And, um, Anyway, this is all the colors, so you know, some are more black than others. Some look grayish, and some even look purplish, and maybe even greenish. But they're all supposed to be black, so we're going to look at them. I'm going to unwind them. Dee, dee, dee. These are all works die work uh, weeks die works. So the first one is called Blackboard. And as you can see, it's somewhat variegated, and it's showing up. Let me try putting on this. Let me see if this light makes it better or worse. Hold on. Oops. Um, it's pretty much a gray, kind of. It's got light gray and dark gray. So it kind of looks like a blackboard after you've erased a bunch of stuff. The second one is gun metal. It's a little more variegated. Um... It's, it's more like someone that needs a, uh, a touch of the gray. Then I have coal. Now coal looks pretty darn black. This is probably the darkest one. There's a little bit of variance, not a whole lot. This is charcoal, but really it looks like it has a lot of green to me, especially right there. You get it more in the light. There's a lot of what seems like green. It's a pretty color, it's just not. 
Then there is mascara. Now this one has the least variegation. It's just, you know, it's 315 for all intents and purposes. To me, it's just me. And then Onyx. Onyx, um, it has variegation. It's pretty dark, as you can tell. But you can see there's a little bit hints of sort of a gray, gray green. So if I put them all together, let's see. I was going to put these in order from dark to less dark. I would say be like this. Do, 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 do. So when you hold them up, see how green this looks compared. I mean, this doesn't even look black at all. This is pretty much a gray. This is. Um, blackboard. This one is charcoal. And then you go uh, which one is this? Gunmetal. I, I can see this one because it, it's got almost like a little bit of a blue. And then onyx. And then coal. And then the very darkest, to me, seems to be mascara. So there you go. Anyway, that's those. Well, I just wanted to show you, if you're interested, obviously you can buy these separately. You don't have to do a club. Um, but it's kind of nice. You, you know, there might be a time when you don't really want black, black. You want kind of black or almost black or not really black, but we'll call it black. So that's that. Okay. Okay, second thing to show you guys. I bought a stitchy box. So stitchy box. Um, they do little um, notion boxes or, you know, I guess the different kind of boxes. This is a new one that they were doing a beta test for. So I got it. They're generally $40 and they're supposed to be a $40 value. But they had a special where it was $32 because they just wanted to see what people thought because they were looking to roll, roll it out uh, the first part of the month. First part of the month. This is why I'm in my nightgown because I need to go to sleep. Um, the first part of next year. So, I thought, well, I'll try one because I have no idea what's in one. And, um, I know that Joyful, uh, Stitcher showed, a, a show hers. But I, I haven't looked at it because I just wanted to see it for myself. I used to do a lot of unboxings uh, with makeup and different stuff, um, on my channel before I started doing floss tube so I'm, I've mentioned this before when it comes to things like this to me I look for two things one I look for value like what are you getting for the money you're paying um, what I found that most needlework boxes aren't going to give you much more than the face value uh, as opposed to like makeup boxes where you know like for um Boxy charm, you spend $25 and you get like $100 worth of makeup or something like that. Pretty much for the clubs I've seen, you get what you pay for. You know, it's, it's in the variety and not knowing what you're going to get. So the other thing I value a box with is sort of presentation. So like, you know, with Fat Quarter Club, usually their stuff is really well packaged and, um, feel like they've taken the time to fix it up and make it nice so I appreciate that so I don't know about this one I, I've, un I've undone the, this part um, I haven't opened it so we'll do that now 
So, okay. And when you open it, pretty purple. Um, I'll just say I would, if anybody is taking um, critique, I would add a little label that says stitchy box, whatever you want to call it. I, I just seems to make it nice. It, I think people like opening something where you get to pull a label. That would be the one thing I would say. But the paper is pretty pretty. Now, when you open it, it does have the, the stash delight October. My understanding is this is going to be sort of like a combo box, combining some things that you might find in different boxes that they have now. So there's a nice letter from Liz um, that, let's see, I want to create a box of goodies each month to delight you. I am placing two restrictions on myself when planning these shipments, a rough color theme, and that each box include $35 plus worth of goodies. And I think that's how much the boxes cost. It may not be 40, it may be 35 with this. This allows me to include those items that make me go, ooh, I like that, but don't have a home in one of our countdown boxes. In short, it's a box of goodies I love and I think you will love too. And one of the features of each Stash Delight sh uh, shipment is a skein of Flower Silk Duo Flower Silk in their brand new in-house silk line. Uh, so that'll be fun. I don't have any silks. The Duo version is something quite special. Each skein contains five lengths of variegated 60 plus inch thread featuring a six color progression. You can use the thread in a variety of ways. And um, she kind of kind of gives you all the kind of notes of how to do all that. It, each Stash Delights box will also include a tasty treat from a small business like this month's Stroof Waffle. And uh, you will notice there is a lovely I'm not well, I'm going to tell you because I'm going to show you blah blah blah. blah and hope you enjoy it. So, here we go. So, then we get this. Okay. And as noted, there is a finger licking Dutch waffle caramel waffle cookie. I love stroop waffles. You put them, if you've never had one of these, where have you been? Where have you been? So what you do is you take your cup of coffee or your cup of tea and you set this on top of the cup. And what happens is the heat from your beverage will help to warm and melt the caramel on your stroop waffle. So... I will be tasting that. Um, I'm going to guess this is the silk because it's in a little sorry looking material um, bag, which is very nice. Now, I like that. That's a very nice touch um, to me. I would, you know, you might put some of those little curly things in there because that kind of helps make things look pretty but it looks the stuff that's in it seems very nice okay let's look at this silk Ooh. okay let me let me figure all this out what all is in here okay now there's some color and cotton, so I guess there's silk and regular thread. This is autumn light color and cotton, so pretty, very pretty. This is the 
seven strands French spun silk in pine. Look at that. That is an emerald green. It is beautiful. I had a sofa this color from the 90s. This is Stitchy Silk by Stitchy Box. Then I have um, the General Art Limited Edition Sampler Thread in Autumn Shadow. This is kind of a, it's not really burgundy, it's not really brown, but it's kind of both. So that's really pretty. And then I have, here are the two flower silk by Stitchy Box. So that other, this silk is a different silk. So flower silk by Stitchy Box, semi-matte, hand-dyed silk floss. Now, just a note, it's not guaranteed color fast. So if you get this, you gotta be careful because if you like to wash <coughs> your piece after you're done, could be troublesome. This is alabaster globe flower. And so it's eight yards. And it's just a really pretty, it's showing up a little yellow, more yellow on here, but it's more of a um, champagne. I would say very light champagne. Let's see if I can, let me move this light. Well, it still shows kind of yellow, but it's more of a champagne. And then the last one is a flower silk in the October 2020 flower silk duo. And so this one is really a lot of fun. So this is the one they're referencing as far as you can. Um, you'll have several colors that you can use and they explain sort of how to do it depending on how you want to. Yeah, I, I still don't quite understand the whole variegation and how to do that. I know you guys do, but you know, I just like to look at them sometimes and go, pretty, that's so pretty. So I like these. I don't know what the retail is on these. You know, if you just were to buy it, um, but to me, that's, that's a lot of fun. I like it. I'll put, I'll put them back there later. Then, I have a 9 by 10 inch hand-dyed cotton velveteen from Fiber on a Whim. And this really pretty kind of almost like a burnt orange or a burnt um so this is it is a velveteen so this is where if you do other crafts i think you would want to use this um it is a velveteen it's it's not quite this bright in real life but it is it's a beautiful it's kind of a rust or a terracotta, kind of a rusty terracotta. Um, it's, it's not, this seems to make it look more bright like an orange and it's not. So I will have to find something to do with that. You know, that would make a pretty, like for a needle book or something. I don't know, I have to think of something. I'm, I'm gonna have to be, be creative, oh no. I am, but I'm not. I'm like, I was creative when I was younger. And over the years, I just, I don't know. It's like it fucked me. But I'll find something. Now, the last, no, this is good. The last thing are the tiny goddess inside. So here is this little, so this thing, stuff like this, I like stuff like this, because it's intriguing. It's like, what's in there? I do not know what's in there. I must find out. 
So we'll find out together. So we'll add some more in a moment. Bag. Oh, my eyes look awful. They don't really look that bad. So lighting. This is like their other little bags. These are antique brass plated copper leaf charms. <sighs> Look at that. Precious candy beads, opaque, satin, copper, eight millimeters. Look at those. Oh, these are fun. They're like, they're like little treasures. Little treasures. And then I have, ooh. Here is glass cord enders. I didn't know there was such a thing. But look at that. I have to take it out. They're kind of amber. I'm gonna take one out. Isn't this fun? I like I like to do stuff like this. See this stuff like this is fun. Even even if the value is exactly what you pay for. You know, I'm not necessarily gonna go buy this stuff, but if I get it in a box. It kind of feels like a little gift. So here are that pretty. Let me do the little. You see it? There you go. Pretty, pretty. Cord ender. So I guess if I were to make like a scissor fob or something, you put that at the end of the little whatever you did. Okay, what else do I have? It's not the only one. That one. And then I have these, which are teeny, teeny, tiny. Delica 11 slash 0 seed beads. 1 gram, 24 karat gold. Fancy. Look at those, but they're little, I'm, I don't want to take those out because they're so small, but they're kind of, um, they're seed beads, but they're teeny, teeny, tiny, but there's a lot of them, you could do a lot of fun stuff with that, and then the last one are natural Two millimeter golden rutilated quartz. I don't even know if you can see that. I can't really see it in real life, so I let me see if he's switch it here. Let me try doing that with this. Take my word for it. They're too tiny. If I open this up, they would just all disappear. So, those are kind of fun. Those are lots of fun. I've got one, two, three, four, five little bags of goodies. So, you know, um, oops. Get everything? Let me make sure. Okay, those, those, those. Yeah. Okay, I wanted to make sure I didn't miss anything. So, 
I like this. You know, I got something I have to figure out something to do with. I love, I love all this. This is probably my favorite because I get to try a bunch of different ones from different um, vendors, including their new silk line. And um, that's always fun because, you know, I don't have the income anymore to just like go home, you know, nuts and buy everybody's stuff. And, you know, I love the little bag came in. And I love my little stroop waffle. This is a substantial one. Because sometimes you buy them and they're kind of cheap, but this is a really good one. I can't smell it. So, that's it. I like it. Um, you know, I think it's a fun box. Oh, I don't have stuff. Did I show you this one? Yeah, Autumn Light. It's a fun box because to me, I like variety. Um, I'd add a little label. Maybe some of those little curly Q things in there. But aside from that, the stuff in the box I thought was great. I mean, I don't know. Tell me what you think. Uh, to me, it was fun. It's something to play with. And now I'm going to have to play with little teeny tiny beads and stuff and add them to things. So I'll have to figure that out. It's like... I barely pick out cross stitch. <laughs> but anyway, that's it. So Liz, I think I like your box. I'm glad I bought it. Um, by the way, since I've already opened it, I'll read this part now. You will notice there is a lovely recycled sari bag in your box. We will be using these bags as the main packaging for Stash Delights. Not only does this let us support yet another small business employing women in India, but you'll have a fabulous reusable bag you can use to hold precious goodies or for gifting. Each bag is different, which is part of the fun. There. So this is a monthly subscription. I think you can sign up for it now. Um, so if this is something that interests you and within your budget, I think you can also um, buy standalone boxes, you know, on any given month if they have some left over. And, um, but I think all that is on their website and I'll include that information below as well. And that was fun. I like fun. So this went longer than I anticipated. So the last part of this video is um, my little kind of tour of this chair <laughs> and uh, a little surprise, kind of sort of, but I think I put it in the title, so it's not really a surprise. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. If you're new to this channel, um, I'm an okay stitcher. You're not going to see grandiose pieces from me, but I'm having fun. I picked it back up after 30 years, so I'm your sort of every person type stitcher. And um, if you want to keep watching, just go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell. Leave a comment, say hello. I love when you guys comment. And let me know what you think of the box. Let me know what you thought of the... Um, fancy floss for October and the blacks that weren't really black and then when you see this last part that you haven't seen yet let me know what you think about that okay but all that information for that will also be down below anyway I've talked way too much <sighs> I'll have to edit this a lot anyway I'll talk to you guys next week okay bye bye Hey, stitchy friends, it's me, Tony. I'm back. So, um, this is a floss tube extra, you know, because I usually post regular floss tubes every couple of weeks, so this is in between. So, I wanted to show you, I thought, as a little 
um, something to do, I would show you where my stitchy chair is, which is here in my bedroom, which is the bed's not made, so we're not going to look over there. So I'm going to flip the camera and I'm going to show you my stitchy chair and then how I have sort of faked a Lowry stand for really cheap. Okay, hold on. Do, 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 do. Okay, well here is my big old recliner. It is comfy, comfy, comfy. It reclines back all the comforts of home. On this, you can't, well, you can't see it, but on the side, there's a little port for my um, phone. Well, no, actually, I use it for my um, Amazon Fire tablet, which is right here. It sits on, when I'm stitching this little stand, so that I can watch Floss 2 videos while I'm stitching. Very convenient. And then I'm, um, this part's all kind of messy because this is stuff that I haven't organized and there's my little lap stand or what do you recall that. And miscellaneous stuff. This is a little side table. I use it as a side table. And then I have like scissors and some various stuff in this little this was a 31 thing I had. And if I want coffee, it's right there. So it's not right where I'm stitching exactly. So this is actually a pretty good um, setup. I can sit up or recline or whatever. And then I have this light I bought off of Amazon for about $30. And it, I can move it up and down and twist it around and so um, it has several settings so you, you know and then different types of colors so some cooler than others so that's nice because some, some colors of cloth you can see better in certain lights so this is great and so I've had this for a while now. And I was watching Jean Farish because I have a uh, table, like a table uh, phone, cell phone holder. Like if I want to do uh, reviews and you know, you want to be able to look down like that. But I noticed she had one with a little clamp. And um, that clamped on the table and then it had like this this little thing to hold your phone and I thought well that's cool so I found one on Amazon I think I spent about 10 bucks so when I got it it's it it has this base that you hook on to your you can undo it and then um, put it on your table or whatever so I thought oh, I had a moment and I thought I'm gonna put this on my light pole and then I'm going to use this. Well, I th originally I was going to use it so I could do videos sitting in my stitchy chair and be able to show you stuff without having to deal with a tripod. But then this happened. I had a moment. Look what it holds. It holds a two snap and I can move it around. And then I can bring this in to wherever I am. And it stays. And this twists up and down to the side. The only thing that's hard is I can't really flip it over. But I have been using this as sort of a poor man's um, Lowry stand. And I've been trying my hand at two-handed stitching. And actually, it works great for that. I am no good at two-handed stitching yet, but I'm working on it. But this whole get up 
I got for about $40 in total. And, you know, I could still probably clamp on a uh, the chart or something and flip it up or do something with it. Anyway, I just wanted to show you if you really want something like, um, you know, one of these um, Lowry's or K Creation type scans, but you don't want to spend, you know, $100, $150 because you don't know if you're going to use it or not, which was really kind of my hesitation piece that I'm on a budget these days. This just was sort of a, um, you know, a nice, uh, that's what I'm thinking of, serendipity that it worked and it holds because this is a very tight class and but it still gives you a little bit of movement and I haven't tried it with a regular hoop but I think it would do that and then I have all the adjustment I need in fact I may have more adjustment than you do with a Lowry because this is very bendable because it's really for use with your cell phone anyway I will put uh, both the light and this in the description box. So if you want to check it out for yourself. But I wanted to share that with you guys. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. And I will talk to you guys again next week. Bye-bye.